Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Dylan Rieger, the Stock D Teaser. And today we're going to be looking at a stock presentation from Jeff Siegel called Endless Clean Energy Perfected at Last. In this presentation, Jeff talks about a solar window technology, and we're going to be revealing the name of this stock so you don't have to buy Jeff's newsletter. Additionally, we're going to be looking at information on the stock to see if it's worth investing in. And we're going to be looking at Jeff Siegel's past stock picks to see if he is worth listening to. So make sure to watch this video all the way through. All your questions will be answered. Before we get into that, I just want to show you my favorite place to get stock picks. My favorite place to get stock picks is Insider Newsletter. How this works is you pay $1 and you get to try it for 30 days. In those 30 days, you get 20 stock picks. After that, it's just $35 a month and you can cancel at any time. There's going to be a link under this video to Insider Newsletter so you can check it out for yourself. There you'll be able to see more information about the newsletter. You'll be able to see who the editors are, and you'll be able to see their stock picks and get an idea of their investing strategy. Well, the good news about this presentation is I can reveal the stock very quickly. Uh, the stock name that's being presented here is Solar Window. Uh, the reason I know this is because Jeff has been pitching this company for about 10 years now, and he's always just repackaging it and uh, marketing it in different ways. Uh, just for, if we go back to stock gumshoe who tracks these type of things, uh, recently he's been calling it spray on solar in the past. He's called it Elon Musk big bombshell. So he's constantly, you know, switching it up. And if you just go through everything, it's the same presentation he's always giving. Uh, so this company makes like a, it's like a paper. I'm not really sure how the technology works, but, uh, that's not really important. What's important is whether or not it's worth investing in. Uh, so I have mixed feelings, obviously, when you look at this graph that goes back from when the company started back in 2003. I think the reason Jeff uh, invests in this company, likes to invest in this company, is because it has these pops every once in a while. Uh, so it makes him look smart when it just, you know, it goes from 145 to eight bucks or recently, which is, I wish I got in then a lot. I'm sure everyone that's looking at this did. Uh, it was $3 and it got all the way up to 34. It's even hard to stop it for a day. It was at $34 and then quickly shot down. But uh, if you invest in this stock, uh, it's just something that you hold for a couple of years and then sell when it pops. So let's say you invest $5,000 and you invest that. See, it's like 259. So we'll look for another time when it's 259. So around here is like 250 and then it gets to seven bucks. You know, it's triple in your money. You sell and then you buy again when it cra when it goes down for you put another five grand in it. It pops, you take your, your profits and then you sell. So I don't think this stock will ever be like one of those here. Let's look at, let's look at a normal stock. So let's see, Markel, this is a stock I was looking at earlier today. So if you look at this stock, it's just constantly going up. So there's the ceiling seems to be, you know, it goes up and then it goes down a little, but you know, it was never going to crash below this point. Then it just goes, goes up. So it's always going up. This is not the type of stock that you invest in. And then it has like a high, uh, high floor. The floor seems to be around two bucks. Right here is 145, 259. So it seems to consistently stay above two. And when it pops, it pops short. Uh, I didn't really look back into the history of the stock, what caused it to pop in these instances. But I'm sure it's just like minor, like deals they make with companies or a good earnings report or something like that. And then people get excited about it. And then, you know, it's just the still, still the same old company though. And people come back to their senses. And it returns to where it should be at around $3. But again, you know, I like these type of stocks where you just kind of ride the waves. Uh, I'm sure it's going to pop again at some point. Uh, so that would be why you invest in this. It's not a long, it's not like a long-term blue chip stock that you hold forever and it keeps going up and you're getting paid dividends. You're basically just waiting for the explosion. So you no longer have to buy green chip stocks, which is the newsletter Jeff is ultimately trying to pitch to you, uh, unless you really want to buy it. Uh, my advice is it's not that good of a newsletter. Uh, I wrote a, 
a review in the past covering this newsletter that tracked a bunch of his stock picks. Uh, back in 2021, Jeff ran a campaign called Day Zero, where he called, where he said, after this announcement is made on December 9th, 2021, a new world will exist. And he was, um, he was hyping up a stock called Unity Be uh, Te Biotechnology. Uh, and it just, the stock hasn't done well. Uh, so it wasn't a new day. The whole world did not change in December 2021. Uh, the stock has gone from 270 to 87. Let's actually take a look at it today because I wrote this a couple months ago. Okay, the stock's doing even worse now. So it was pitched in late November. Now it's at 60 cents. So it's lost most of its value. Uh, next up, we have the solar window. This is where I tracked solar window, and he recommended it to his credit. He did recommend it right before it exploded. So I think everyone would have liked to have bought it at $4 and have it go to $30 in a couple months. That's why I like, that's why I wouldn't mind investing in solar window. You might get, you know, these huge pops every once in a while. Back in 2019, he ran another campaign called Day Zero, except he was uh, pitching a company called Rest. Uh, uh, Rester Bio. Uh, it was the same thing. And November thir 13th, 2019, he said, this will be the most profitable day in the history of mankind. Uh, so if you look at this graph, the bl black line is the S&P 500. And if you look at the red line, uh, this is the stock that he was recommending. And this dot is when he recommended it. So you tell me how profitable was this day? Not that profitable, obviously. This was a horrible stock pick. Uh, next, uh, Jeff pitched another company called endless an endless energy company uh this one was natcore again he recommended it at 34 cents and it dropped down to 11 cents so it lost most of its value so jeff picks just don't look very good to me uh he makes these huge huge promises and hypes it up to hypes it up a lot and then you know a lot of these stocks just end up crashing uh, a lot of these companies just don't even exist anymore. So, yeah, I wouldn't buy this newsletter. And there's also another reason why you shouldn't buy this newsletter. It's owned by Agora, which owns um, the most investing newsletters there is. But it's a very unethical company who could just got fined $2 million for defrauding senior citizens. Uh, their sales funnels are awful. Once you buy green chip stocks, it's not that expensive. It's $99 for the first year. But this is just bait. Once you buy the stock, you're going to be put into a, a very aggressive sales funnel where they're going to pitch products that cost thousands of dollars every month. They're going to they're going to pitch that to you every single day. So every day you're going to wake up to your inbox flooded with these promotional offers. They're going to use very unethical marketing campaigns to try to get you to upgrade because that's how they make their money. They're not making their money selling ninety nine dollars subscriptions. They make their money selling ten thousand dollars of subscriptions. So this is all just bait to get you to uh to get you to buy the more expensive products later on all right so that's the end of this video you now know the stock that jeff is pitching it's the same stock he's been pitching for 10 years solar window uh it's up to you whether or not you want to invest in it i think it'd be a fun little stock to invest in you never know you might uh, wake up one day and it's worth 35 dollars uh but other than that i wouldn't buy the newsletter he's pitching I wouldn't buy anything from Agora, really. There's only they sell like hundreds of newsletters. I only recommend a couple of them. But uh, green chip stocks is not one I recommend. If you are looking for a high quality investing newsletter, I would check out Insider Newsletter. Uh, how this works is you pay one dollar, you get thirty day access, twenty stock picks, four newsletters, and then you get an email asking if you want to continue. After that, it's just thirty five dollars a month, and you continue getting. 20 stock picks a month, uh, five a week, which is way more than anyone else offers. Uh, and it's a lot more affordable than most other newsletters. There will be a link to this product under this video in the description. Uh, if you click it, you'll be able to learn more about Insider Weekly. You'll be able to see who the editors are. You'll be able to see the stock picks they've made in the past. <clears throat> If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, just leave a comment below and I'll answer as quickly as possible. If you like this video, I ask that you just like and subscribe. I do these videos every day. 
So I'm either usually doing reviews or these type of stock presentations where I decode them and give you the stock uh, video for free. I mean, the stock pick for free. So if you want those type of videos every day, I would uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching all the way through. I hope you have a good day.